System alert. Security patrol initiated. Get ready. Once we do this, there's no going back. Hey, listen. Sorry, I know you're in a hurry. I, I know you want your power regulator and all. I just feel like we should go talk to Adelaide. If we're gonna kill her power, the least we could do is give her people a fair warning. Yeah, that makes sense. Thanks. For hearing me out, I mean.
I can't stop thinking on Edgewater, Captain. I'm glad the deserters are gonna be all right now they got power, but... What about the town? All those people... supposed to do now exercise patience and contemplate the scriptures
You just killed him. Mr. Thompson. Reed Thompson, you know, my boss. I can't. I need to leave. I need to get away from here. I need to get away from you. Don't take this the wrong way or anything, but I don't ever want to see you again. Something's not right.
Who is that? Take him down!
Captain, I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. What? Do you know how to install a power regulator? Step one, pick up your power regulator. Step two, approach the terminal located in our engine room. Step three, insert power regulator. Step four, celebrate. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. What can I do for you, Captain? All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Based on my initial calculations of Dr. Wells's personality, that seems highly unlikely. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Good, great, excellent. Let's move on. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. In theory, I suppose you could land your ship in Cascadia. And in theory, I suppose you might survive the experience. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia, and I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Trust me, talk to Gladys Kelly. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If any... Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost com... Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. 
Think of a nav key. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so... Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cut. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably... Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The Shroud changes. It has limits. First generation technology, you see. But very simply, the Holographic Shroud uses biometric information contained on... Ha 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 ha! The beauty is, they don't expect it. The Shroud is the only one of its kind. We humans have a tendency to activate the disguise, walk past someone. What do they see? A figure dressed like a fellow employee. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions... And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you... The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them... Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a... arrived at the groundbreaker. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? What part of the colony would you like to discuss? We are clear to dock with the groundbreaker if that's your desired destination. If we're going there, Please be sure all docking forms have been filed in triplicate and fees have been paid. The Mardettes take their docking laws quite seriously. The Groundbreaker was Halcyon's original colony ship. It has since been repurposed as a service station in the Lagrange point of the system. Freighters often deliver or pick up goods from the Groundbreaker en route to other destinations. The city ship hosts an array of cargo bays, factories, housing sections, and more. Many of Halcyon's companies maintain office spaces with stationed representatives in what is considered a truly neutral territory within the system. If we're going there, please be sure all docking forms have been filed in triplicate and fees have been paid. Goodbye.
Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. Don't mind the heat. That's not the point. This hey, no offense, but I don't think this walking saltuna can's gonna appreciate you interrupting. Keep talking, Millstone. See what happens. Now's not a good time. I'm dealing with a problem here. So, go space yourself. Problem solved. You must really want to trunch it through your teeth. Do what you want. I Whatever. I had this foreman. Guy never... Just arrived. Head over to customs. Wheeler needs to process you. Customs and inspection, right this way. Identification, please. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Oh, thank the law. I can use a diversion. Tell me more then. Really sell it to me. Please, you can do better than that. Where's the drama? I was hoping for something a little more thrilling. You sure you didn't duel him to the death ward? Steal it from his berth while he slept nearby? That's no fun. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interference. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Not gonna lie, you're in a pickle. But uh, Udom's an uh, interesting guy. Might be y'all could come to accords if you... Huh. Records show this ain't the first time your ship's been impounded. Seems to get cleared up pretty quick. You might not be in this pickle for long. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Now, hold on. It'll just take a minute. Wanda Dorset over in sickbay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you? He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreak. Not that he would be... Sure thing. The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Be seeing you. Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardettes...
I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Here we go again. No one lives. Miscreant, I saw that. What do you think you're doing? Oh, I guess, uh, never mind then. A CCN 76 milk chocolate bar with caramel and pea free nuts in it. It's time for a KYO. Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch, Triple Gel Flakes, and Purple Berry Flavored Power Nuggets. Now with 12% more crunch. Rizzo's Purple Berry Bunch, a soft sour candy shell aroma. to remind spacers and other travelers. How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. Sorry. Business has been slow. Anything to occupy the time. Oh, you can't miss her. Right behind you, number two. First unit on the left, or second unit from the right, depending on which direction you count from. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient, or an oven. Just like store-bought. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. Gracious, I was just sitting down for tea. Won a charming copper kettle off that girl who runs the pub. She's a fierce arm wrestler, but she's no match for your pal Gladys.
great law is it hot in here? Or is it just my gl- Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime, did he tell you? Real light on his feet. Real light in the wallet, too. He still owes me a small fortune. Laws. Maybe I should charge you double. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the Groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... Any time, sweetheart. If you're here for this week... Yes, dearie? Ain't that just a treat? So, you know Edna, over in engineering? On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway, and Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreaker's chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. What do you want, then? Any time. It had the toss ball scores from Deconis. What about the rail gliding championships? I didn't think anyone could hate. Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Disperse now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, real scary. You're really gonna arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief Jun Lee's ship. You don't own shit here. Step back! I'm required by board bylaws to use excessive force. The Mardettes would space you for trying, you... you waste of O2 scrubbers. Yeah, O2 scrubbers. Look, just get out of here before I tell your captain what you've been getting up to on the clock. Ah, whatever. We got a date at the Lost Hope anyway. Is this really what you want to be doing with your life, Marcy? 
guarding stairs for that walking mustache oot on fucking Bedford? I gotta get off this detail. Feels like I'm melting. Hmm? Got my sights on you. Move along. Huh? Carry on. Hey! Got my sights. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed? Talk to your local manager about applying for military training and lend your life to protecting our wonderful brands and products. Military service does not guarantee full employment rights, tax breaks, military discount, health benefits, military burial, participation medal, training, or weapon. This is Halcyon News, reminding you that there's no I in news, no we in Halcyon, and no Mercury in Saltuna. Unless you have business with the board, move along.